Massive cash shop red flags in New World. And this just came out today. This is not good. All right, so yesterday, I logged on the New World website. Saw that I get so mad whenever I see people like him because he has hair. Pisses me off. They posted their new patch notes. I think it was called something like, you know, final patch notes for alpha before release or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, cool, tomorrow we got content. Cool. Good day. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about that. Take four or five hours to make. It'll be a fairly boring video where I go over patch notes, etc. But we can't Big do fun. that today. And the reason we can't do oh. that today is because there's something way more important to talk about. What's that? And that is the, quote, premium currency shop internal testing. Cock ass. Now, this was posted Cock on the non-disclosure agreement forums, which is under, you know, an NDA which means that only people who had alpha access could see this. But of course, people immediately turned around and mm -hmm. leaked this on Big all social surprise. media because it's Billy bullshit. So we might as well go over that today and talk about it. Did he call it, it Billy because bullshit? Because it's Billy bullshit. So I like how he says that with a complete straight face. We might as well go over that today and talk about it because Let's I do think this it. is massively important. It's something that at least for me signifies that this is their serious run up to launch because they yeah, wouldn't have launched the game any other time without a cash shop. So the fact that this is the first we're hearing about it, and this is the first mm -hmm. they're testing it, means to me that we are looking for an August launch and does show to me that they never had any intention of launching the game previously, uh, at least at least the way that I look at it. And let's do some burning of bridges. So here we go. New okay. World is introducing in-game purchases for special cosmetic items for players and their in-game homes. We'll okay. sell cosmetics in the form of item skins, dyes, company crests, and emotes. So far, not so good, but... So you can buy an emote? Like, it depends on, like, what your character can do with the emote. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you have to buy spit. Like, you have to, you have to fucking... Dude, if you want to buy slash dab, it's, like, $40. Something we accept, right? Me as, me as an MMO player that comes from playing old-school MMOs, I value cosmetics in, in yeah. games. I value being yeah. able to, like, log on and see... You know, the guy studying Ironforge with his Serpent Shrine get Cavern uh, gear. True. I value logging on and seeing somebody with, with war glaives and being like, man, that guy's a badass. Exactly. Log in and see someone with high tier PvP gear and going, yeah, that guy spent a lot of time in PvP. He's probably really good. True. I don't value logging in and seeing somebody with, with fucking crazy death god armor with fucking lightning coming off of it that he bought in a cash shop for 20 euros. I just don't. It doesn't appeal to me in any way. I don't like it. I tolerate it. Because I know that that's like what we have now. And you tolerate it because you've been beaten down, embarrassed, disappointed, and let down, cheated, lied to, fucking uh, just a beaten dog. It's just like what Steven said. He's a beaten dog. And like, here's what happens, right? So here's the problem with this kind of shit. So this is the character's armor that is the actual in-game armor, okay? Okay, so that that's the end that, that's the end game armor. Okay, here's the fucking store armor. It's a a dragon's face, and you have like teeth coming out of it, and then your fucking your feet your your feet are literal bombs, because you're the bomb. Why are you the bomb? <laughs> because you blew up twenty dollars, and, and then your hands. Guess what your hands are? That's right. Chainsaws! Wait, what? Chainsaw hands? That's right! What's up, San Diego? $35, and you can get yourself your own pair of chainsaw hands! Oh my god! Wow! And you know how much all this costs? It's $120. That's right. And so this is what happens with these fucking microtransaction things. Is that you have, you have all the in-game armor that looks like trash, and then you have all the cosmetic armor on the store that looks really cool. Now, why is that? Because that's what sells. People want to buy something that looks cool, and buying these little fucking, fucking rinky-dink dog shit shoulders isn't going to get you 50 bucks. But if you've got chainsaw hands, oh my god. And having a dissenting opinion on that, while valid, yeah. doesn't change shit. It's not going away. But then we get to the next it's part. about right. We may sell quality of life items or boosts that will help players improve their time spent leveling up their character and trade skill experience. Like, isn't that just pay to win? Like, I mean, full stop. Isn't that just pay to win? Because, like, if you're leveling up your character and your trade skills are getting improved... 
And I don't know if you guys know this, but the higher level your trade skills are, the better stuff you can craft. Like, it, it's, it's, it's just like literally pay to win. Because the higher your trade skill is, and the more times that you've uh, done certain upgrades and crafted certain items, you, and I don't know if it's still like this on, on, the, on the game now, but the way it was in the preview, is that you would unlock a higher ceiling for crafting weapons and armor. So it, it, it's just like, are you kidding me? I, I can't believe this, man. Like, let me read this again. Like, we may sell quality of life items or boosts. I love how they say or boosts because you know they're not quality. Like, yeah, because quality of life items and boosts are two different things. Quality of life is one thing and then boosts are pay to win that will help players improve their time spent leveling up their character and trade skill experience. Now, you, to, to make sense of this, you have yeah. to understand the company as corporate as Amazon, Amazon Game Studios, saying we may do this. It's going to happen. When they're announcing it to people, this has been through like 35 fucking meetings through all the higher ups and they've decided this is the best way to present this. Not a word of this will not have been carefully deliberated on. And this is not, this mm -hmm. might be in the game, it might not be. This is like, yeah. let's gauge how people react to, to this mm -hmm. because we know it's going to be extremely poorly received and let's see if it's still worth doing and how much is it worth doing? What can we get away with? Now, a couple big problems with this is, of course, they don't mention what is a quality of life item. Yeah. They, don't, they don't define what is quality of life. They simply say, we may sell quality of life items, okay? Or boosts and then they go into what boosts would be leveling up characters and trade skill experience that's crazy which, let's be real most mmos nowadays have boosts uh not my favorite thing but typically you know when they have boosts when the game's been out for a while when the leveling experience yeah. isn't the big deal if you're selling boosts when a game first launches Fuck that, bro. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. If they do that, I'm probably just, like, not going to play the game, man. Like, I mean, if you can just buy boosts and, like, buy all the trade skill upgrades and shit, like, I'm probably just, like, not going to play it. Like, uh, that's the straight-up truth. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it is, man. It actually is a big deal. It, it actually is a big deal. Like, if you if you spend real money and you gain tangible advantages, in the, this is a big deal, man. Like, I'm sick of people thinking that, like, the only thing that matters in an MMO is the most competitive system in the game. Like, nothing else in the MMO matters at all. The The sense of world, the uh, the permanence of items, the uh, community feel, the uh, feel that you get whenever you get a cool item. Like, th none of those things matter. The only thing that matters is, like, this very, very small window of competitive activity that they don't really touch that much. And somehow that's supposed to make it acceptable for them to diminish the experience for literally everybody else. It's so sad, man. It's so fucking sad. And it's a big deal to a lot of other people as well. And then let's talk about trade skills within the game and, and skipping experience there. So if you boil this down to the base elements, if you skip experience, you're essentially selling progress, right? You can, you can yeah. then spend that time doing other things, making more money, um, doing the things that matter, getting to the end game faster so you can do the things that, let's be real. Dude, this makes me so sad because like, I've been looking forward to this game so much. How are they gonna do this shit, man? Like, are you fucking kidding me? It's just sad. You play WoW, it's the same thing? Yeah, but like, I'm already getting fucked in the ass once. What do you want me to sign up for another one? That's the whole point. I'm already getting fucked in the ass once. Wait, I do it again? How many dicks do I need? It's Amazon, what do you expect? I expect a quality experience. I expect a quality, fulfilling, good gameplay experience. And I don't give a fuck who makes it. And then yeah. let's talk about trade skills. Yeah. This is literally selling currency, by the way. It's <laughs> a base element if you boil it down. If it takes yeah. 1 million gold to reach the max level of a trade... No, it's completely right. Because you use, you use the items to level up the currency, to level up the fucking skill. So if there's something that makes you level it up faster, you're effectively selling items. And then you sell boosts of experience that means that you have to craft, craft less, which then takes you 500,000. You essentially just sold 500,000 worth of currency in, in terms of resources saved. So yeah, exactly. that's a real slippery slope because then if you look at it from like the company- Bro, it's not a slippery slope. Like at that point, you're off the edge. 
Like, we're not, like, a slippery slope is like, oh, we're going down. No, this is where you land. That's where you land. We're not starting at the top. It's not like, oh, well, you know, we've got, oh, we've got currency and, you know, it's fine. And, you know, maybe you get to get to get a little item and this little special item and it looks really cool. It looks cool and everything else. And then, oh, well, you know, now we're going to have boosts and, oh, you're going to spend real money on the game to level up your character. And then, oh, no, oh, no, now we've got fucking profession crafting bonuses that's not at the top that's not on the slope that's at the floor that's on the ground it's real easy for them to go well they didn't mind us selling currency in that way exactly so you know why don't we sell currency in another way and it's, it's called getting your foot in the door it's a salesman tactic you get them to agree to one thing and then you try to fuck them as many ways as you possibly can it's the whole argument Stop here pausing. Shut that up, people bitch. seem to not understand and not people in I'm general pissed. but these fucking corporate bootlickers yep. who for some reason yep. as consumers are like yeah it doesn't matter to me at this yep. point so i don't care exactly let them devalue everything in the game until it affects me yeah uh, and by that point it's way too late and the game sucks which we'll get into in a minute what the company looks at with stuff like that this is well the mechanics are the same you know um and they don't they don't seem to mind that and people buy it it makes us a bunch of money so why don't we just do it in another area exactly and you can see this boat being pushed out in games consistently world of warcraft blizzard activision blizzard this is like this whole scenario under a microscope just condensed you can look at the beginning of wow to now and this mm -hmm. is the perfect fucking example of how this happens yeah you except they're speed running it like, it took us fucking five years to get a store in WoW. They're speedrunning it. Like, we're getting it before the release. We have a game that comes out. It's beloved. Pretty consumer-friendly. It's a good game. It's worth the time. It's worth the money. It's a box price, a subscription price, and an expansion mm -hmm. price. And then they're like, oh, yeah, and, you know, we'll do services now. Race change, yeah. transfers, yep. uh, name change, guild change, etc., etc. And then it's boosts. Oh, you know, everyone's already max level. Let's boost people. Yep. You know, not a huge deal when the game's further in the lifespan of the game. Most people can agree. But then they get to, we're selling mounts, we're selling pets. And then they get to, we're selling currency, uh, which for me makes World of Warcraft like an odd position to, to talk about. Because if you can buy currency in WoW, you can then legally buy pretty much every achievement in the game, every, every mount, every hard thing to do, buy glad buy best in slot mythic gear with like the mythic um fucking achievements and stuff stuff that i think that's what happened like yeah that's exactly like he he's completely right i it's just it's so sad i think it does matter to people because what happens is you just devalued what i had i had something that was prestigious exactly and i worked really hard to get it and then you bought it and then you're somebody who also has this thing but you didn't do any of the requisite work to get it exactly and that matters to me it might not matter to everybody but if it doesn't matter to you why would you be in defense of people being able to do it it doesn't make any sense whatsoever because you're That's... just basically saying at that point i don't care about your experience as a fellow player as a fellow human yeah. i'd rather just if it doesn't inconvenience me just fuck everybody which is honestly one yep. of the worst takes you can possibly have on 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 anything i think now and that's basically what happened with wow is like wow is like that this is the main thing that wow does is like now like in wow it's almost like if you see some other group of people in the game get fucked over you're happy you're you're happy it's like oh i'm so happy that mythic plus players are getting fucked over or i'm so happy that uh i i hate pvpers because I, I got killed on war mode last week and so i'm so happy they're selling glad heater mounts in the store now it's their turn to get fucked this time exactly they push the boat out consistently now it's trans yeah. and they will keep doing this they and will. what happens is they everyone will. who doesn't care at all these dis different stages you know it's boiling a lobster arguably are hurting the game because what happens is step one yeah people care True. they talk about it yep fanboys or people that just don't understand this concept go why do you give a fuck stop crying just don't buy it just don't buy it just don't buy it you hear that's this you... every time and then that's the people... I, I literally am reading messages like that in chat like i read that and i i can't believe imagine simping for amazon you know, like, if you're going to simp for Amazon, at least sign up and make one of those fake Twitter accounts and have them pay you for talking about how much you don't like unions. Like, at least get paid for it. Don't just type it in my Twitch chat. Come on. You do care. 
leave the game or they stop caring to the stage of just like you they're completely apathetic to the situation exactly and they just basically nobody go, cares whatever fuck it it's 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 on its way to death at this point i don't care i'll just leave it <laughs> just ride the do train down to the bottom and then the next step happens same thing happens again more people leave less people want to have a discussion about it because they know what the discussion is going to devolve into and eventually guys you know what happens it gets to something you care about. Yep. It gets to something you, the person going in, oh, it doesn't matter to me. Yep. They will get to a system that you care about eventually. And by the time They'll they come do, for you. you've already fucked yourself. You've already, like, mm -hmm. all the people who would stand up with you at that stage, they already left on... It's the old fucking thing. First, they came for the... Uh, I, I'm not going to use the fucking... The, the minorities, right? Because it's a, it's a thing. And um, first, they came for the these guys. And I didn't speak out because I wasn't these guys. And then they came for those guys. And I didn't speak out because I wasn't those guys. And then they came for me. And there was nobody left to speak up for me. And this is exactly what happened with WoW. It's what happened with a lot of these other games. And just the slow rot of microtransactions in the integrity of the game. This just happens over and over and over. And I will say, like... I think to some degree, if you have a free game, microtransactions are okay. To some degree, they're all right. But uh, this is way too much, man. This is way, especially like pre-release. Like talk about this shit pre-release. Are you kidding me? Like PoE, I think PoE has probably the most, probably the best microtransaction system. Like uh, overall, I, I think that they do. This is crazy though. And you're paying money for this game. Like, PoE, you don't pay shit for that game. It's crazy. On all the points. And none of the points, by the way, that those people left on that you were defending were points that, as a mm -hmm. consumer, you should be defending. Because I yeah. don't care is not a legit defense against something. It's literally just saying it doesn't bother thing. me. So so whatever. I, I yeah. don't give a fuck. Even if, if it affects literally me exactly negatively. literally exactly what I said. If you don't care, surely you should side with the people who, who, who you are. Care. You're a consumer. Yeah. You shouldn't side with a corporation who would literally not spit in your mouth if you were fucking dying of hydra dehydration. They wouldn't piss on you if you're on fire. And yet... Well, they would, and then they'd charge you for it afterwards. You'll go to the length of going on social media and being like, yeah. oh, you know, why do you ca guys care? It's so, so blisteringly, ignorantly stupid. I just it can't is. get over it. But, you know, it, let, let's not get into a massive, long-winded wind tangent of how fucking cuckolded we are as consumers at all stages let's talk about this we are committed on keeping the competitive systems fair and balanced for all customers and purchases will like not that's the uh, that's what i really hate about this is like they act like the competitive systems are the only thing in a game that matters it maybe it's the cynic in me i do not trust when a company says based on our own subjective definition yeah. there will be no problems with this because by well, like how, how can you possibly not have a competitive advantage if you're talking about profession boosting and level boosting like that's a that's an advantage it's an advantage in the game that's what i was saying it's like the the way that people want to compare themselves in the game it doesn't it's not just on this one little tiny fucking window of content you know it, as long as the highest level of arena is competitive then the game has integrity no nobody gives a shit about that to begin with like, nobody plays that anyway. People care about the entire rest of the game. Definition, you don't have our best interest at heart because all you care about is the money involved. Yeah. Uh, and it's not on you as a company to decide what is fair, what is balanced for consumers. That's for us to decide. So unless you're That's going true. to lay out That's exactly true. what you mean by this and what your definition is, give us examples it's fucking redundant so you see these same people pop up in social media quoting this like yeah. uh, they quote it and go you guys must be forgetting about this part we're committed on keeping the competitive systems fair and balanced for all customers guys have if the idea of a level boost or profession boosts is even in their mind before the game release does anybody genuinely believe that competitive content is off the table you not have you not figured this out yet? Have you yeah. not figured this out yet? If a company comes out and tells you, oh, this isn't pay to win because this, why are you trusting what a company tells you is pay to win when they are literally the only people benefiting from these systems? That's a well, really it, good point. It makes no sense, guys. That's a it makes very no good sense point. whatsoever. And this is, we need to be talking about this. And I, 
I know it's probably not going to matter because we're by definition having this conversation in such a niche area of the internet that most nine to fivers come home from work. They've got two kids at home. I disagree. Like if you, the thing is, if you create bad, like negative press, especially for a new game or something like that, uh, it absolutely matters. Like it absolutely fucking matters. Like think of, uh, like, like cyberpunk. I think cyberpunk's the best, like new example, right? Is that the game was unfinished and people said a bunch of bad stuff about it online and they were not satisfied with the game. And that's why people were pissed. Yeah. Bless online. That's another one too. Like bless online, same fucking thing. They still made millions. Yeah. And they made that at the expense of their integrity and the goodwill of the consumers. And next time they make a game, they're probably not going to make as much money. They're going to have way more skepticism. Just because they make money this time doesn't mean that it's a good decision. I know this might sound hard for people to understand, but you should not make business decisions based off of the next 24 hours. Their fucking wife's cooking dinner. They come home, they play two hours, they don't go on a forum. They don't, you know, they don't go on a YouTube video. They don't go on a Discord. They don't give a fuck. And they're the people who will not care about this. And yeah. they don't understand. It's not even that they're ignorant because they're, they're not the ones on social media defending this. They just don't they know don't any better. Yeah, and the care. real big thing here is, guys, the only defense that I can see a consumer having is also ridiculously far-fetched and isn't yeah. how the world works. What they'll do is they'll go... Uh, oh, you know when Blizzard sells that that transmog in the shop for twenty pounds, uh, you know I want to support that because I want the game to keep being made and I want the game to be as good as possible. Do you guys legit think Blizzard takes in extra money and goes, yeah, invest that straight back into World of Warcraft? You know, hire <laughs> some more people. You know, get some more content out there. They don't. They don't. We've proven this time and time again. But here's some numbers for you: Blizzard monthly active <laughs> users for the whole platform, <laughs> Activision Blizzard platform, down 27, 29 percent, whatever it That's was. That's a new boat. What do you mean, bro? That's a that's a new boat. They're out on the they're out on the coast fishing. <laughs> they took your mount, fucking storm mount money, and they bought their own mount. And they fired the D they fired the GMs too, man. They're complaining. They won't make money if they don't make money on it. Yeah. The thing is, like, as I said, it's not like I, I will accept some small things because I think that yeah, if you want to continuously develop a game, yeah, sure. Like if you want to buy expansions or something like that, it's fine. It it's not about that. It's about what's being sold. It's not that there's something being sold. That's it's not a big deal, but like it's what it is. Profits up seven percent though. Don't care. They don't give a fuck. They can mm -hmm. lose thirty percent of users, up their profits by seven percent. That is good. That's good business. Um, they're not taking that money and reinvesting it in development teams, support customer support teams. Yeah. Year after year after year, massive layoffs. They don't care. Patch cycles getting longer. Yeah. Expansions being rushed out with less content half-baked ideas and systems removing content that we've had for 15 years and then people <sighs> cheering when they give it us back it's it's ridiculous guys there is no benefit it's to so you supporting sad. this and at this point yeah. in the video you're probably going to go whoa why have you just been talking about blizzard for six or seven minutes when we're talking about about amazon game studios and new world because it's a case study it's the direct one-to-one -one correlation yeah um, it's a case study what happens is the business cycle company starts small really beloved does a lot of good consumer things everyone really loves them yeah they get too big they sell to a bigger corporation um the trickle down starts, starts happening or they go public they become a publicly traded company and it's all about that share price it's yep. all about that bottom line yep um and then they get to that stage and then the company obviously everything starts going worse and worse and worse and then you begin the cycle anew with a new company and it happens consistently you can look at like cd project red for a perfect example or blizzard as we were just going over and the whole point of that to explain all those mechanisms at play is that amazon is amazon they're not That's starting true. at the beginning point where we're going to have eight, nine, amazon. ten years of a game where you're like yeah everything's going good there's a couple problems here and there with the monetization's getting a little little tiny bit worse they're starting way beyond even activision blizzard so the fact that before the games even launched, they're already talking about quality of life, fucking buffs, things that don't even tangibly have an explanation from their perspective. 
uh, let alone even our perspective as consumers who were not even ever going to see eye to eye on this because they're two opposite viewpoints. This is why we're talking about Blizzard because it's the perfect example of of what this because game... it's literally what happened. Yeah, that's why because that's literally what happened. It's not complicated at all. It's not capitalism. It's monopoly. The thing is, I don't want to get into like an economics debate. Okay. Like, there are plenty of ga of companies that don't do stuff like this. Like, I, I don't know why it's so hard for people to just make some money. Like, why do you don't have to always make all of the money? Like, that's what I don't understand. Like, where is the pride in... in th there's, like, there's no pride about this. Like, you want, you want people to... It's just so sad, man. It's so fucking... It's just so fucking sad. Pride doesn't sell. It did. It, 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 it did sell. Pride used to sell. And it still does. It's already going to look like in a couple years. Yeah. They're not stopping here, guys. This is not like, oh, this is the, the end game of it. This exactly. is the beginning. This is yes. the first yes. step. And there will be a second and a third and a fourth. And the boat mm -hmm. will get pushed out inch by inch by inch by inch until you can't even see that motherfucker yep. from the shore. And this That's is how right. these games go. And if you let them do it now, if you don't stand up to it now, what are you going to have in four or five years? So if you care about the longevity of this game, if you care about the longevity of this, this genre, this industry... This is a conversation you need to be having, and this is the pushback yeah. you need to you need to have. But what can I really say? This is you're getting off to a really really bad start with this, and it's such a disappointment. Did we expect any different? It's so it's sad, just, man. You know, I knew we was going to have to have this conversation at some point because they'd not talked about the cash shop in such a long time, and we didn't know what was going to be in it. But yeah, I, I'm just sick of the discourse online about things like this where people, the, the arguments from people like me and people who care about the game and care about the genre and the industry and how we play these games is like based on our feelings of, of how we play and how consumers should look at things. Yeah. And then the dissenting opinion is just from people that are just like, but I don't care. So why that's, do you? What a great argument. I don't care. Like if that's the strongest argument, like it doesn't matter to me wow what what a great way to explain and and promote your position that you don't care you just don't do it bro I, i'm fucking sick of it i really am um but yeah i thought i'd make this video the the problem is is that me in saying this most of you guys maybe you didn't think through every little facet of what i've been saying but most of you guys will understand and the people who don't understand that i just think they're beyond like i just think they're beyond helping with this i, I just don't think they're ever going to get it because they don't they don't try and think about the like long-term ramifications of what's happening they're just like they treat it as if it's a short-term um problem and a short-term solution to just not care and it fucking isn't so if you want to see well, because me it's all about it's all short-term to them they don't care to begin with yeah th th they don't care anyway so to them it doesn't matter one way or another it is short term because they don't give a shit. You cover the New World patch notes still, despite this. Uh, let me know in the comments. Leave me a like. Subscribe if you're not already. It takes two seconds. Really appreciate it. Uh, I have a Patreon if you want to check that out as well. And a Twitch where I stream every other day. Probably be live later tonight talking about this. And yeah, thank you very much for watching as always. Hopefully I will see you on the next one. Stay safe out there. We out. Peace. There is definitely a world where there's so much of this stupid shit in the game that I just don't play the game. Like there's absolutely, uh, there's absolutely a world where, where I do that, a hundred percent. Like, cause that's exactly what happened with uh with uh what do you call it, uh Black Desert, is I played Black Desert and I found out like how pay to win it was and I quit the game. Like I didn't know at the beginning, right, a hundred percent. But like after a while, I quit the game because it like it wasn't fun at that point because you, like, what's the point? Well, it gets away with it because we love the game. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like. Like I'm much, I, I'm more willing to accept it with WoW because I'm already emotionally attached to WoW. I'm not emotionally attached to this fucking game. That's the difference. Selling quality of life. We are creating a problem to sell the solution. Exactly. Remember the good old days where you'd play games without thinking about spending money every 10 seconds. After hearing quality of life, I'm sure you'll have a little satchel of the inventory in game with 10 empty slots and you'll need to buy their boosters.
You just say one fucking thing, you should have a million subscribers. Yeah, what you're saying is have a bigger impact. Well, we have a lot of people here watching. Like, I, I, I hope that you guys can see where I'm coming from with this because I am just completely fucking tired of seeing this shit, man. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, I am so tired of seeing this dog shit. It's so frustrating for me. It's so annoying. And I'm just so tired of it. And I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm sick of having my games that I've been playing for years be continuously fucking diminished, degraded, and fucking ruined slowly and rotted out. And then having stupid people defend it like it's somehow in their best interest to have this company milk them for more fucking money. It's just so sad. Like, like they're, they take a, a fucking, they're proud of the fact that they can spend $30 on a microtransaction for some fucking executive that doesn't even know what's happening. I, I think that's what really annoys me the most about the whole thing is the people that defend it. Like the game, the developer, like I get, I'm pissed off at the developer. Yeah. But like they're acting in self-interest. What really makes me mad is the people that fucking, they're, they're literally acting against their own self-interest letting this shit happen to them it's like this is the kind of stuff that like it makes me feel like i'm it makes me feel like i'm getting older because i'm losing interest you know what i mean like i don't have the same interest in gaming now because it's not uh it's not the same to me right it's like you just slowly feel like you're, you're fading out of gaming because so much of it is like meaningless and uh fucking corporate here before asthma just says big true to this whole video yeah Fucking exactly, man. No, that, you're not wrong. This is this is a big true video. You're totally right.